peace of our blessed Lord be with you. It is 30th of November, 2023, the Feast of St. Andrew. And with this feast, we end the month of November. It's been 30 days. How have you seen this month? What memories are you having of this month that ends? Today, have you had the privilege of being to Mass, being to church? Have you had the privilege of listening to God's word? For he speaks of peace to us, his faithful ones, through his word. Psalm 85 verse 8. I pray that you give me your ears, you give me your attention as we walk through the passage presented to us by Holy Mother Church today. Because of the Feast of St. Andrew, we ask to meditate on Matthew 4, 18 to 22. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was walking by the lake of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother. They were making a cast into the lake with their net, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. And at once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw another pair of brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in their boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. And he called them, and at once, leaving the boat and their father, they followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, all three Gospels, the Synoptics, I'm talking about Matthew, Mark, and Luke, presents us with this episode of Jesus calling Peter and uh, Andrew, his brother. We are reading Matthew 4, 18 to 22. We can read from Mark 1, 16 to 20, after the baptism of Jesus. When Jesus was baptized in Mark 1, 15, after his baptism, in Mark 1, 15, he declared, Repent and believe the good news, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Then he calls Andrew and Peter from the Sea of Galilee. In Luke, it happened in chapter 5. When the disciples had spent the whole night on the sea and didn't catch anything, then they saw Jesus and Jesus told them to cast the net. When they got the huge catch, Peter jumped into the water and Jesus called to them. In St. John's Gospel, however, we don't have this episode. But St. John presents us with the image of Andrew. That is what I want us to reflect on, although we are reading Matthew 4, 18 to 22. Because of the Feast of Andrew, I want us to concentrate on this image of Andrew. He's the brother of Simon Peter, we've read. They came from Bethsaida. Bethsaida was on the coast of the Sea of Galilee, one of the towns that surrounded the, the Sea of Galilee. So they were working close to home when Christ called them. They were not idle. They were working with the same net. When you pay attention, they are net. They are not their nets. Peter and Andrew were using a single net to work today when Jesus called to them. They were brothers. In John's gospel, however, John highlights Andrew, something he doesn't present any of the disciples doing. So of the 12 disciples, Andrew is the one presented as always leading people to Christ. He's presented as the guide. And today I want us to reflect on this image of Andrew in John's Gospel because it's the Feast of Andrew. We are ending the month of November. Only three examples, the three instances John gave us. In John 1, 40 to 44, after the baptism of Jesus, John saw Jesus approaching and he said, Behold the Lamb of God. Two of John's disciples heard us and went to follow Jesus. Jesus turned and he asked them, What do you want? He said, Rabbi, where do you live? He showed them and that day they stayed with him. One of them, those two disciples of John the Baptist, who went to follow Jesus was Andrew. Then Andrew went to tell his brother Simon, Peter, and Andrew led Peter to Jesus. When Jesus saw Peter, he told him, you'll be called Cephas, which means rock. So in John 1, 40 to 44, it is Andrew who brings Peter, his brother, to Jesus. The second instance is in John 6, 8. Jesus again has crossed the sea or the lake of Galilee. Then he saw a huge crowd and he asked them, his disciples, where are we going to get bread to feed all these people? He said that to tempt them. He knew what he was going to do. Then Philip, who also came from Bethsaida, he knew Andrew and Peter. Philip was almost pessimistic. He said, Lord, 
200 denarii worth of bread will provide only a little for them to eat. But Andrew is highlighted. St. John says, Andrew saw a little boy who had five loaves of fish and two, five loaves of bread and two fish. Then Andrew will bring this little boy who had five loaves and two fish to Jesus. Jesus will take the bread, bless it, and divide it for all the people there. Pay attention. Peter is led to Jesus by Andrew, John 1, 40 to 44. The second instance, John 6, 8, a little boy is led to Christ by Andrew. The third and the final time, John 12, 22. There is a festival going on in Jerusalem. Some Greeks had come. They wanted to see Jesus. Lo and behold, who do they go to? They go to Philip. Because the name Philip, it is a Greek name. It means lover of horses. Philippos means the lover of horses. So they knew when they knew that the guy was Philippos, lover of somebody who loved horses, the Greeks thought that hey, he shares our name, so let's go to him. So they approached Philip, and Philip went to tell Andrew. And Andrew, rather, together with Philip, would tell Jesus, Lord, there are some Greeks here who want to see you. When Jesus heard this, this is what Jesus says, he declared. Now has the time come for the Son of Man to be glorified. When the Greeks had come, when Andrew had brought the Greeks to Jesus, listen to Jesus, the time has come for me to be glorified. It is the time. Jesus waited for the Greeks to come before declaring that it was time for, his, for him to be glorified. That is Andrew leading three people. Three categories of people are led by Andrew. His own family members, his own blood, represented by Peter. The young, the young, represented by the young boy who had this five loaves of fish and two, the five loaves of bread and two fish, and strangers outside this represented by these Greeks. Friends, we wouldn't be celebrating the feast of Andrew here and still be talking about Andrew because Andrew is just in the presence of God. Let's talk about us. How are we living this day, the final day of this 11th month? We are called to be new Andrews. My name is Louis Cecilia Dupoku, but I can call myself Louis Cecilia Andrew Dupoku. We are five males, five boys. I'm the third. Who knows? God made me a priest to make me like an Andrew among my siblings, to lead them to him. And not only my siblings, my blood, my family, but young people to be a role model for the young. And also to be a role model and to lead those who are outside the circle of my family, like Andrew leading the Greeks who are outside the circle of his family to him. In the same way, each and every one of us in our families are invited, are called to be Andrews, to lead our families to Christ, to lead the young to Christ, to lead outsiders to Christ. You can be called Peter Andrew. You can be Andrew Andrew. You can be Mary Andrew. You can be Francisca Andrew. You can be Florence Andrew. You can be Margaret Andrew. Juliana Andrew. Agnes Andrew. Matilda Andrew. Veronica Andrew. Daniela Andrew. Laurentia Andrew. Sophia Andrew. Francis Andrew. The Lord asking you to lead your family to Christ. Him. To lead the young to him and to bring people who are outside of your blood relations to him. It is a very difficult task. I'm telling you, without Christ, we can't do this. So there are certain elements we need to have before we can bring these people. So in the first reading of today, Paul says, faith comes from hearing. So you first have to pay attention, listen to what God says. It is only when we have grabs the word that we can integrate it, make it part of our lives and bring it to our family, the young and those who are outside of our circles. That is why this exercise every evening is important. Speak, Lord, I'm hearing. I will listen to what the Lord God has to say for he speaks of peace to his faithful ones, you and I. That is why we want to give attention to God's word each evening before we sleep. God bless you. Share this message with somebody and bless him. Like, comment, and share. Tomorrow at 4 a.m., we shall be praying. I will send you the message soon. Stay blessed. Amen.